Here is another model of the heart. Right over here we have again the anterior surface. This is the right ventricle. Here is the left ventricle. The apex of the heart is located right over here. This right over here is the anterior interventricular sulcus. The sulcus between the right atrium and right ventricle and left atrium and left ventricle is the coronary sulcus. If we zoom in on the anterior interventricular sulcus, the artery that we find here is the anterior interventricular branch of the left coronary artery and these veins are the great cardiac veins draining the interior myocardium of the heart. Here is a view of the base of the heart and the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. Here is the base of the heart, the left atrium with the pulmonary veins draining blood, oxygenated blood into the left atrium. This is your inferior vena cava draining blood into the right atrium. Here is the superior vena cava. This is the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. And right over here in the coronary sulcus, labeled number six on this model, we have the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus is collecting blood from almost all regions of the heart and draining that blood into the right atrium near the opening of the inferior vena cava. Here we are looking at the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. Here is the inferior vena cava. Here is the coronary sinus. The base of the heart is up over here. Right over here, we have the posterior interventricular sulcus, which is between the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Within the posterior interventricular sulcus, you'll find the posterior interventricular branch of the right coronary artery, which is located right over here. This vein, which is draining blood from the myocardium in this posterior side, this diaphragmatic side of the, of the heart. This vein is the middle cardiac vein. Notice it is draining into the coronary sinus. And right over here, along, going along the coronary sulcus, we have a small cardiac vein.